Hello, Good everybody, morning, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp. And my name is Noel McAvoy. That was a Zeph Adonai on piano. Uh, happy Monday, everyone. Yes. We hope that you have all had a great weekend. Now it's the start of our week, <laughs> and it's looking a little cold. It's been it cold was cold outside. this morning. It was freezing. Yeah. Um, I it was freezing in my snuggie last night. It was ridiculous. Scott bought a snuggie recently. No, I had a snuggie. I just finally used it yesterday. How do you feel about it? Uh, 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 uh good. Uh, good? Uh, by the time I woke up this morning, the uh, the snuggie sleeves were strangling me. <laughs> <laughs> and your backside, but your backside was on the bed, so I guess your backside was warm, right? Well, the backside had to be on your bed if you're gonna make the snuggie work. Yeah. But I it was on my stomach or oh. side. And then there was this like uh, Strangling. Uh, half exposed, and then my <laughs> sleeves are just all over the place. Because once you get out of the sleeves, you never get back in the sleeves. It sounds like a mess. Snuggy. It was mess quite a mess. But yeah, it, it was a weekend, and a weekend is over. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And so Scott, you got to film the Hellgate High School football. No, not yes, Hellgate High School crosstown yes. game on Friday. How was that? It was good. It was good. a nice close game. Uh, it was very tight the whole way through. Um, at, and at the very end, um, Sentinel just couldn't pull it out, and um, it was Big Sky for the win. Nice. Yeah, the last couple seconds, right? Oh, yeah, cool. it was really close. All it took, all it would have taken is this touchdown for um, Sentinel to win the game. Wow, wow. That's exciting. World of sports. And uh, Grizz football started back up again, too. And so I know that they were over in, um, I believe they were in Minnesota? Some North Carolina over the weekend? Yeah, but, and they won. Did they win? Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Cool. Good to know. Because I heard last year, I think that the previous years, they've lost against the team they played against. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and um, so uh, yesterday it did rain like crazy, mm -hmm. uh, but not not until later uh, last night. Mm -hmm. And then, that, of course, that cold, those cold temperatures basically continued on over the night and until today. Today, your high is going to be 55 degrees outside. And, of course, things will warm up towards the middle of the week. But, of course, right now, you can expect to be... Fairly chilly outside, so you um, have your uh, sweaters ready because mm -hmm. it's going to be that kind of a Monday. Well, especially with the lows of being like in the 30s, there's a big temperature gap, and so it's definitely going to be cold in the mornings and then warm in the afternoons. Yes. So wear your shorts, but bring leggings. And you can find out more information by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com. Oh, wait, no, I mean <laughs> nationalweatherservice.gov, but also you can go to our website to find out more information about our morning show, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice we made you write out twice. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on our Facebook page. And to find out more information, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yep. And of course, uh, last weekend was the uh, premiere of mm -hmm. our um, Saturday drop in animation, yes, or it as is. I like to call just dr Saturday, um, Saturday drop ins. Drop -ins. Yeah. And um, so we had about six or seven kids of all of our regulars, and we did some fun stuff. We uh, did some live uh, streaming on Facebook with our new camera that we've showed you guys probably about a month ago. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, do we want to take, should we just take a yeah, look? Yeah, we can take a look. I'm just going to like randomly go into place. One. Oh, I love her. Spoiler alert! Ah! You next time say spoiler alert before she says that. Yeah, this is live TV. We can't edit anything. You just spoiled it for all of the one people Every watching. Right <laughs> yeah, but, uh, is um, anybody watching? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Where's that cat? Oh, uh, I'm no one's watching. Cat I'm just is... chilling. Oh yeah, one person's just watching. With the is, that, is it us? Are you sure? And You're the one watching? No, it's zero. <laughs> so we that happened. Not that entertaining. It was like but us it was and like six It was kids. 22 minutes. Yeah, it was. And it like ate up half my um, um, data on my phone. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but I, then, then we tried to, to then we tried to try to do it to Wi-Fi, yeah. and we have another uh, test right there. But yeah. we're not gonna show it to you. We're just gonna skip ahead. It was just a whole lot of practice and having fun. But hey, I think for our first weekend, it was very successful. Yep. And well, we all fun. the regulars came back. Mm -hmm. uh, we had one, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah. About six kids. Yeah. Um, but of course, um, let's talk about some road reports. There is, yes. Yeah. So I was driving home last night from my friend's house and I saw a sign that said something happening downtown, expect delays. Yes. And Orange I Street at I 90. Wow. Work is planned to begin on September 12th, which is today. Mm -hmm. Expect delays to be on the eastbound exit ramp and portions of Orange Street and um, North, mm -hmm. Second North 2nd as work on the project. Begins. So, so that's just like right over by my house. They don't have an expiration date. They're just no. actually getting started. So it could mm -hmm. be any time between a week to 
Six months. Oh, it's going to take. It's going to take oh. like six months. Because they've got to build that roundabout. They've got to like take out some areas. Oh, yeah. You know, they have to like widen the road. Like, this so you're going to have to go on project. Scott Street. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go over Scott Street. I'm going to have to go all the way around over by the Kettle House and do that back road. I'm not going to be able to use that intersection anymore, yeah. which is fine. I'm just going to have to like leave early. But Scott Street is your best bet if you're trying to get from north to south. Um, For sure. Be, because of the yeah. train. You just never know. A lot of times trains mm -hmm. always drive through and going up through um, the Kettle House way mm -hmm. is almost impossible most times. It's true. You never really know. And so, yeah, we'll just have to be start using Scott Street Bridge yeah. a lot more, but I'll just have to leave my house earlier. Burke Street is, is still continuing on their intersection of Old Highway 93 to Pizza Hut. Okay. And that's what they say. The it's it's really what it says right here. I don't know <laughs> if it's like sponsored, but Pizza Hut pr presents a work <laughs> on a sewer main installation project. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah uh -huh. it's terrible. But of course, uh, reserve, and then of course, reserve Old Highway 93 to ha Harvey. Ha and this Harvey? Oh, yeah. okay. Not yeah. Haver. Yeah, because the R like is Haver, before it. Not, yeah. Okay, so the sewer main installation, uh, and there should be uh, for equipment on the shoulder of the road. Uh, so this is Old Highway 93. There's all sorts of stuff on, 90, on Old Highway 93, and this is all about um, the construction of the overpass. So uh -huh. it's, there's parts of the 93 that are doing sewer, and then the parts that are right next to reserve is going to be done with the overpass. And they're already bu basically building the base for like the starting the turnaround for the oh. going up. And oh, okay. So yeah. if you get a chance, you guys should go check that out. Mm -hmm. um, Hillview Way is continuing their work on 23, 23rd to 39th Street. So that's the one that goes up um, Hillview Way. Um, and then, of course, South 5th and uh, South uh, 6th Street West is continuing on in Uptown Missoula. Nice. Um, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff, and you can find out more information by logging on to ci.missoula.mt.us. And you just go down here, and they have all these wonderful things at the bottom corner. Ooh, it just zoomed in really quickly. <laughs> uh, so you just go to the roads report, and it's that simple. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And, <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah. Um, but without further ado, we do have some new programs. Oh, and, nice. Okay. And it's highlighting the Celtic Festival. This is part three. It's not just like highlights of the Celtic Festival. This is the actual performances from the Celtic Festival. This is part three. And uh, I think it's a many different part series because I remember Ron was out there for all day Friday and pretty much all day Saturday. And nice. the only thing I did was Saturday night. So. Oh, okay. Cool. And then, of course, we have the State of the University Address. The official State of the University Address will be airing on MCAT um, mm -hmm. uh, on our schedule. But, of course, it's already been on, and you can watch it at any time. But, but it's uh, officially on nice. tonight. Cool. And then, of course, tomorrow night is the continuation of the International Choir Festival. Mm -hmm. And I believe um, by Wednesday you can expect um, the city band. I always thought the city band was a Tuesday night, but apparently it must have gotten replaced by Oh, really? Else. Nice. So Wednesday nights are usually the city band. And I'll talk more about that that Wednesday. But without further ado, here is new program. And when we come back, we'll have events with Noel. We've operated under the strategic plan called UM2020, building a university for the global century since 2011. This plan has guided decision making on multiple fronts during the intervening years. We should be proud of the accomplishments that we've made under that plan. Accomplishments, accomplishments such as the initiation and implementation of a program dear to my heart, the Global Leadership Initiative, which by the way has a waiting list among our incoming freshmen.
guys, we are back and we've got some events for today. Okay, so what I have are just events for Monday. There's a lot happening. So if you guys want to find out Tuesday events, you can just go to Missoula Community. No, no, uh, MissoulaEvents.net. Sorry, <laughs> little little Monday brain pause. Brain pause. Okay, so starting at 10 a.m. over at Rootsacker Sports Center, they've got their preschool play group. Uh, this is for ages walking to five years. And it's eight dollars to drop in or twelve dollars for siblings. They set up different activities and stations around the gym, and parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. And the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center has got a ton of active classes. They have a bunch of yoga and ULA and lots of things to keep you indoors because you know it's colder now. Maybe you want to stay indoors and do your exercises. So uh, Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center has got that for you. So up first, they've got the next step, developing your fitness. It starts at 11.30 and it's for those that have, per that have participated in their Fit to Fight program or other post rehab or disease managing circumstances and want to continue to, to develop a healthy, active lifestyle. Um, also at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, they've got Introduction to Pickleball that starts at 11.30. It's Mondays and Wednesdays from 11.30 to 12.30 and it's only $22. Um, and it's going to be from the today until the 21st, so it's only going to be this week and next week. And so what it is, it's the basics of pickleball, which is an indoor court sport similar to badminton using paddles, similar to table tennis. Yeah. Also at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a lunchbox special total body conditioning class that starts at noon. Um, and so it's blends strength conditioning with core training using a variety of exercise and fitness equipment. It goes from Mondays from 9-12 to 10-24. Um, it's from 12 to 1, it's only $27. At the Grow Music Studio, located on Longstaff Street, um, they have got fiddle classes for kids. It starts at noon, and so it's open for registration. Lessons are in violin and cello. You can call 493-4533 to sign up and for more information. We've got our bridge groups. Bridge group is going to be at the Senior Center at 1 o'clock. This is the beginner's brush-up group. And then our duplicate bridge Duplicate bridge group put on by Garden City Bridge Club is at 1 o'clock, um, and that is on Stockyard Road. And then over at the Eagles Lodge, so this next event is pretty interesting. The Eagles Lodge number 32 is hosting this. It starts at 1 o'clock, and so it's called Plasma Basics Open Hours Workshop Week in Missoula. And so the field of plasma technologies has been emerging as an exciting new area of science, which has practical applications in health and wellness. And so this woman who's from Missoula has been studying and building plasma devices for almost a year, and should be able to explain the technology and one-on-one -on -one and she's being joined by this gal from Illinois. And so you can learn how to make disaster relief supplies, including how to clean polluted water to make it drinkable, pain relief, and healing aids. Um, and so they're also going to be able to make health pens, which I'm not quite sure what those are, but they want you to bring two sizes of bare copper wire, various lengths, and tools such as needle, nose plier, and a drill with adjustable chuck, um, and some supplies will be available on hand. It doesn't cost anything unless you're going to use their supplies and they'll ask you for some money. But that starts at 1 o'clock and that's going to be at the Eagles Lodge number 32 uh, today. At the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, they've got an introduction to WordPress that starts at 1. WordPress is an online like blogger website where you can set it up for like small business use or personal website or a blog. Um, kind of like our Wake Up Missoula website. So but most, gonna... but most people use it for photography. WordPress? Yeah, oh, oh. all the time. A lot of people like using it for their photography mm -hmm. businesses. Like, uh, uh, look at the contrast of the shadows. And uh -huh. hey, this was in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can learn how to use WordPress and they'll teach you all about that. And that starts at uh, 1 o'clock. Yep. Uh, do you use WordPress ever, Scott? I tried it once you and um, I just didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, so this will be from uh, September 12th to September 26th, and it'll be $129 from one to four. So a couple classes will be three hours long. Yeah. And so now, at the University of Montana, we've got a President Lecture Series Seminar. It starts at three o'clock, and it is put on by Erin Bigler, who's a professor of psychology and neuroscience, and she's the founding director of Magnetic Resonance Imaging Research Facility. Oh, cool, okay. So she's gonna be talking about neuroimaging methods in the study of neural connectivity in brain and health disease. Um, it's free and open to the public. That'll be at the University of Montana at three o'clock. 
at the public library. They have computer electronics in their maker space. That's also at three. You can go in and learn how to use their equipment or you can work on a project of your choice. They're open until six o'clock. At Missoula International School, they've got an after-school robotics and animation design club that starts at 3.45. It's Mondays and Wednesdays. It's going to be an eight-week session. It's $135 to either come on Mondays or come on Wednesdays. And so they'll use Wido and EV3 Lego Robotics, as well as Scratch Animation Software, to design and create stories, games, and inventions. This class will be taught in both English and Spanish, as it is at the Missoula International School. That's really cool. Yeah, it's super cool. So just call 45. Five two nine nine two four for more information and to sign up. All right, we've got a couple more activity classes. The Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center has got a burn and firm Pilates class. Starts at 4.30. That'll be from September 12th until October 10th, 24th. Um, from 4.30 to 5.30, it's only $27. Gentle Yoga is at 4.30. That'll be from the September 12th to the 24th of October. And that's 4.30 to 5.30, and that's also only $27. And then we have a cycle challenge that's going to be at 4.30. And so this is for people that are more experienced writers. Um, it incorporates basic to intermediate techniques with a focus on proper form, writing techniques, and offers more challenging options for experienced writers. So that'll be from September 12th until October 24th. It'll be from 4.30 to 5.30, and it costs $32. And then we have ULA. And that'll be the same from the 12th to the 24th of October, 4.25 to 5.25, and it's $27. And then over at the University of Montana, in their oval tomorrow, today at 5 o'clock until 7.30 is the Kyra Jeans Williams Farm, Farm to College Fall Festival. And so what it is, it's music from local yokel. It's, they're just going to have a bunch of food from all the different farms surrounding Missoula. Um, and so prices range from $3.50 for students with a meal plan to all the way up to 12 bucks for people for ages 13 and older that don't have a meal plan. Um, but there are discounts for bear bucks and people ages under 13. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ula Power is going to be at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center at 5.30. Uh, this is the same date range, the 12th to the 24th of October. $24 from 5.30 to 6.15. And then they've got total body conditioning, total body toning that starts at 5.30. Um, it's from 5.35 to 6.35, the same from the 12th to the 24th, and it's $27. Pound Fit will be at 5.45. Um, and so it's a total body conditioning workout that starts with warm-up moves that are easy to follow and are incorporated throughout the class. So that is going to be also same age date range, 5.45 to 6.45 and only $32. And then we have Yoga, 5.45, $27, goes until 6.45. Um, and then over at the Zutan Arts Community Center, we have Intro to Mosaics. So that starts at 6 p.m., $110, um, for members, $120 for non-members. It's a five-week class towards beginners who want to learn about basic techniques, tools, and materials involved in creating mosaic art. Yeah, so it'll teach you everything that you want to know. Um, you can call 549-7555. Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center. Once again, we got some more classes over there. We have an Anyone Can Draw class. It starts at 6 p.m., goes from 6 to 8. It's $52, and it starts from September 12th until October 10th. So only a little less than a month. And then also at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, we've got a polymer clay jewelry class. It starts at 6. It's $34, and this is tonight only. It's from 6 to 9. At the Missoula Public Library, we've got a beginning word class that also starts at 6 o'clock. Um, and so it's an introduction to word processing, how to create a document and manipulate the text and font using templates. Registration is required. Just call 721-2665. And then we've got some more classes at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center. We've got ULA at 6.15. Uh, bear Fitness or Bar Fitness, this will be at 6.30. So what bar is is a non-impact workout that focuses on body alignment and core stability using controlled movements to give you a total body workout. So it like combines yoga, ballet, and Pilates. Um, and so that'll be at 6.30. We have a group piano class that also starts at 6.30. That'll be on Mondays from the 12th until the 24th of October. $27 from 6.30 to 7.30. Uh, you have to, you're going to want to own a piano or a keyboard and have some time to practice daily. And then there's a required textbook, but it's not included in tuition. I would imagine you can either give them a call or just show up to your first class and they'll tell you what you need. 
Okay, and then over at the Missoula Public Library, this event is kind of interesting. It's, it's a First Amendment lecture. It's about campaign finance reform myths. It starts at 6.30. And so um, it's a big myth in the American politics that private sector is buying elections through campaign spending. And so uh, this political guy, Dr. Roots, is going to shatter some myths with raw data and PowerPoint slides um, about how American industries have become deregulated, have the super rich shifted the tax burden away from the cells onto the middle class and the poor, um, as well as questions like, did the Citizens United's decision in 2010 lead to an explosion of campaign spending by business corporation? So if you've ever had any uh, inklings about campaign spending or what it's like and how the First Amendment is uh, is involved in campaign spending and finances, you can check out this lecture and he'll answer all your questions. So that'll be at the 6.30 at the Missoula Public Library and it's free to, and open to the public. There's an intermediate ukulele class at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center at 7 o'clock. Um, it's only $82 and it goes from the 12th until the 31st of October. And then we've got yoga for the working stiffs. Uh, this is also at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center. It starts at seven o'clock. And so what it is, it's for those of us that are work that work in a seated position for extended periods of time, either you're at a computer or you're in a classroom. Um, and so, yeah, they'll help you with that using breathwork, mindfulness techniques, and physical postures. It'll be from the 12th of September till the 24th of October. Uh, seven to eight, only $27. Yeah. Tom Catmull is going to be playing the Red Bird Wine Bar. That starts at 7 o'clock tonight. And then at 7.30 in the UM Gallagher Business Building, room L14, they've got an Audubon. They're going to explore Birds of Ecuador. That starts at 7.30. And so the Five Valley Audubon meeting is hosting its first meeting of the fall by traveling virtually to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands. So uh, Gary Swant will share the photos of special birds and areas, including birding for the roughest bellied seed snipe, um, and a condor at like 17,000 feet. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. And then my last event is a presidential uh, lecture series lecture, not the Ooh. seminar. So this will be at the Denison Theater at 8 o'clock. It'll feature Aaron Bigler, Professor of Psychology and Neuroscience, which I talked about before. So this, um, what I talked about the seminar, this will be the lecture. And so this will be in the Denison Theater. It'll be free. And MCAT always films those. So I'm sure that we'll have one of our people filming then if you guys aren't able to catch it today. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I've got for you guys. I just did Monday events because we had so much going on. So you guys can check out MissoulaEvents.net and you can see everything I talked about plus other things I skipped over as well as go to MissoulaEvents.net for Tuesday's events. There's actually a ton of stuff going on tomorrow as well. Lots of kids activities, lots of things to keep you indoors and active and a lot of music. So check those out. But that's all I've got for you now and we've got Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. <laughs> well before I start I just wanted to say that we lost actor Raymond Burr September 12th, 1993. And for those who may not know who Raymond Burr was, he was the actor that played Perry Mason. Okay. And made that role famous on television back in the 50s and early 60s. So, so wait, that was 93? No, yeah, he passed away in 1993. He got two Emmys for playing Perry Mason, the attorney. And I guess if you're in trouble, you want Perry Mason to come to your rescue. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, kind of ties in with my story. If a person was in trouble with the law or being arrested for a crime committed, they would probably want our guest on today's musical notes, Deputy Chief Brenda Lee Johnson to help them. Chief Johnson is the closer, Kira Minturn Sedgwick, known to the world as Kira Sedgwick, and there she is on the screen, and she, you might recognize her, your television audience there. The Closer is an American television police show starring Kara Cedric as Brenda Lee Johnson, a Los Angeles police detective deputy chief. With CIA training, Chief Johnson has a reputation as a closer, which simply means an interrogator who not only solves crimes, but gets confessions that lead to convictions closing the case. And that's how she became known as The Closer. And there are some scenes from her television show. But before she became The Closer, we're going to go back and we're going to go back in time to 1983, way before she became The Closer. She was 16 years old in real life in this clip. And let's show this here. This is a soap opera called Another World. And in this scene here, this young man here, he likes 
Julia, this is the character she's playing. He's interested in Julia, but he's in denial right now. He's not admitting it. So in this scene, he is apologizing to Julia for taking her out to dinner and talking about Sally all night. This young man here is trying to overcome and get past Sally. And so Julia is comforting him, even though he likes Julia too. You know how soap operas are. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's getting counsel with a girl that he likes, trying to forget another girl. <laughs> That's soap operas. <laughs> now, getting back to Kira Sedgwick, Kira is an American actress, and she's a producer. She is married to the actor Kevin Bacon, and there they are, the Golden Globe Awards there. And as I stated, she's best known for playing Deputy Chief Brenda Lee. Now, Kira has won a series of awards. She got the Golden Globe in 2007, and she also got an Emmy Award in 2010. She was born in New York. Her father's Episcopalian English heritage, and her mother was Jewish, so she identifies herself as Jewish. She graduated from Friends Seminary, and she attended Sarah Lawrence College before transferring to the University of Southern California, where she got her degree in um, theater degree. She got a theater degree. And um, she's also she also won an Emmy Award for the 1990, 1992 film Miss Rose, which was a Jewish immigrant who comes to terms with her ethnicity. And when she was the closer, she um, got a salary of 300000 per episode. Can you believe that? That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah that's sweet. Well, I need to be the closer, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, her television series lasted from 2005 to 2012. And as I stated, she got the Golden Globe for that. And um, my final words, as I always say, these stories that I do, these actresses and actors, they're always connected with one character. And in her case, she'll always be remembered as the closer, Chief um, Brenda Johnson. And she left the world some a great detective series. And of course, she's doing other things these days, but you can still see the closer on reruns. In fact, it was on TV just last night. Nice. Cool, Lisa. Thank so, you very much. Sure, thank you. Nice, the closer. Yeah. Well, that was Musical Note today, Staff Out and I. And now we have got an art clip. Uh, tell us about this, Scott. It's featuring the, the Merc, and this is um, going to be all a bunch of photos and old historical um, stuff that uh, basically it's all about the Merc, and it's at Fort Missoula, the historical museum at Fort Missoula. I have to say it like that mm -hmm. or I get a phone call. Yep. And here will. it is. See, I, I don't have necessarily anything against WordPress. It's just like, WordPress is more like a, um, it, it's like a dogpile.com search engine as to <laughs> like, you know, like Wix, the one we, we use for our own web, website is like, um, like the Google in a way. Mm -hmm. Or it could be like Ask Jeeves and then when you or get like a, its update, then it became Ask. <laughs> and like the, the new, uh, anyways, okay. So <laughs> as you can see, uh, the close up on my face means it's from, it's uh, Tales from the Weekend. 
And this one, this uh, little story is called Coat Check Mike. Oh, Coat so Check if you remember, Mike. I did Coat Check Charlie not too long ago. This is his buddy, Coat Check Mike, ah. who just lost his job. Oh. Um, turns out he, uh, his good friend Charlie has gotten him into trouble with the owner of the building son and is no longer a coat checker. Coat Check Mike is not hurt that he lost his job, but losing his girlfriend has taken its toll. The day he lost his job, the only place Mike could go to was home to his girlfriend. When he got home, he noticed his girlfriend wasn't alone and saw another man half-dressed in their bed. Oh, no. Needless to say, that Mike was inclined to break things off with his living girlfriend of five years. Uh, after being out of work and displaced in the city, Coat Check Mike went searching for his next job. Unfortunately, it was hard for Mike since his job as a coat checker would not be a good reference since he was fired from there. <laughs> Mike had lost everything because his friend Coat Check Charlie grabbed the wrong coat. There was no doubt in his mind Charlie being a good friend let Mike stay with him for a while. Um, it had seemed that Charlie had uh, become self-employed and successful with his graphic designs. Um, Mike was sore, but how could, uh, how could you, someone who's worked around the same time and not done anything different have uh, better opportunities waiting for them and not for him? So he was basically jealous and envious of um, Kochek Charlie, who is now graphic design Charlie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pending story next week. <laughs> um, Mike uh, got a job as a janitor at a school with much less pay than he had as a coat check guy. And uh, he had to deal with a bunch of terrible children, kind of like working at a bar, but more vomit and crying. <laughs> um, uh, Mike met this lonely kid by the name of Stu. Stu was, by definition, an outcast from the other kids because he was uh, born with a birthmark, birthmark on the side of his right cheek with the shape of Idaho. He was very insecure about that. Um, Mike would say hello and Stu would say hi back, but only on good days. There were not many good days for Stu. Mike felt bad for Stu as he began to try to engage with a shy and very soft-spoken child. One day, Mike found something, some interesting things in the garbage and decided to show <laughs> Stu. <Cool. laughs> a dead rat. Ooh, cool. Anyways, it turns out that one of the kids at the school had thrown a diorama of Idaho. This was a very simple diorama, uh, which uh, said Idaho and had a potato in the middle. Um, not much to the imagination, but Mike showed Stu, and for the first time to Mike, Stu laughed. Mike went home that night a little better than the first day on the job, but for the next couple of weeks, Mike would show Stu what the top few items of the lost and found. Mike would ask if he would bring these back to the students who lost him. Stu knew exactly which one of these items in the lost bin belonged to. As time went by, Stu was met with warmth and kindness from the other students, just by bringing back their misplaced goods. No one noticed his birthmark anymore. As for Mike, he went from part-time janitor to full-time in no time. Guess now we'd have to uh, call him Mike the Janitor. Moral of the story, uh, just because you lost something, whether it be your way or a diorama of a potato, you can always find a new one with a little help from Mike the Janitor. Nice! Hello, thanks, Scott. Cool. Now we all just need janitors in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We just need good people in our lives. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Nice, I like that. Yep. Cool. That was a Tales from the Weekend, everyone, with Scott Rand. <laughs> I have to think it's WordPress. It's, you know, it's just, you know. Scott hates WordPress. It, it, it's, it's like dogpile.com, in a way, it. to me. It's like, or it's like, and of course, it, you know, um, uh, Blogspot is more like um, um, MySpace oh, I <laughs> of the Blogspots. I don't care either way. Right. The, a website is a website is a website. Yeah, it, or, <laughs> it's a, like website in terms of like website building, mm -hmm. like sites or whatever. It's it's definitely like the um, MySpace of yes. the Wix, website building. Wix is very easy. We Wix use Wix is for very, our easy. very um, easy. There's a new one uh, that came out. That's the one with the Jeff Bridges weird website. Oh, I haven't seen it. Jeff Bridges made a website. Square Nix. Ah. Uh, Square or something. It's a new um, website building thing. It's kind of like the uh, Sony of the search engines. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird, but it looks really cool. But anyways. These comparisons really make it easy for me to understand, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> They're all just ridiculous. <laughs> but, you know, like, there's a search, there was a search engine war that we lived through. Yeah. And we survived. Uh -huh, we um, did survive it, yeah. yeah. They're, they're still being... <laughs> they're still being... <laughs> Yahoo is search is like Netscape Navigator. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, and it works as fast as Netscape Navigator. 
Google will be top forever yeah. for a reason. You can, ex reason, you can expect Yahoo to find your search within 10 seconds of yep. typing in. And mm -hmm. Yep, Yahoo, it's Yahoo that fast. takes 10 seconds. It's like 1990s. Bing, Bing doesn't show in everything. Bing won't show everything like Google will. Oh, Bing will show you like ads. We'll mostly. show you ads and show you half of the content. Well, it's like they show you top three things that mm -hmm. have nothing to do yep. with your uh, search Bing engine. And then you have to scroll down a little bit and then it's there. Yeah. And Bing it's like, terrible. oh, there it is. Uh huh. I, oh. know, I remember one time I had to watch a movie for one of my classes last, last year. And so I typed it into Bing, looked it up on Bing. Bing did not come up with it at all. Typed it into Google. Google came up with it. I was like, what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. It's terrible. I used to like Bing, but now you're bad. <laughs> okay. Maybe if Bing became exactly like Google, I'd use Bing. But you know, why? But would then you, why would you, why would you, you go really, Google? Why just don't just do Google? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, well, it's kind of like it's, uh, it's kind of like Google, but maybe I'll start using it when it becomes exactly it's like, like Google. Worse than Google, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes becomes exactly like Google, that's what we're using. Yeah. But yeah, right. um, yeah, yeah, that was that's a nice I, um, segue good, into good, nothing. Uh, pretty good short show, Monday? Yep. I guess it's about average show time. <laughs> it's a good average show time. Um, good average tomorrow show night, time. Um, I'm going to be uh, live streaming, live broadcasting the uh, volleyball. The oh, good. Seminole High School yep. volleyball. So that will be happening. and um, I'll be here at MCAT if you guys want to come say hi. Yeah. From 5 to 8? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or 5 to 7, depending on if anyone's here. It depends, level. yeah. yeah. You probably true. want to close by 7 because, you know, Crazy Rick usually starts to show up around 7, 7.30. Mm -hmm. And he just mm -hmm. kind of sits on the computer and does nothing. Yep. And then I'm like, I have, you have to leave, Rick. <laughs> Take your buckets and get out of here. But it doesn't really matter um, because he doesn't watch this. No, he doesn't. He literally doesn't watch it. No. I don't think he's watched anything on MCAT. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, All right. I think that's it. But you like can watch some... us this afternoon um, <laughs> at 2 p.m. He's playing our kick out music. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll be on again the, at 2 sure p.m. this afternoon if you're watching this at 2 p.m. afternoon. This we'll, is it. Yeah. This See is you it. Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Wednesday at 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Yeah. And um, for Wake Up Missoula, um, I'm Scott Ramp. And for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. Here's Asaf Adonai.